Welcome everyone. So let's talk about this triangle at the top of the Gleason's map. Everybody says it's a Masonic um, triangle. Well, it is an isosceles triangle. I'm not so sure it's Masonic. By looking at it, if you notice all the three points, the base of the triangle is at a very specific position of the 45 degree south latitude. Now what's interesting is that if you flip it upside down, it points exactly to the North Pole. Now this is very important because by doing that, it actually marks the position of the base as being measurable. So in other words, the distance from the base to the top of the sun um, emblem that's on the map is equal to the distance between the base of the triangle and the North Pole. And by doing that, we can calculate the distance because longitudinal lines are equal distant on a circle map and as as a month of equal distant map. And we can calculate the distance because every degree is 60 nautical miles. So let's look at what they've told us so far. The moon is 238,000 miles away from the earth. There's 29.5 average moon days. That's this synodic. I'm assuming that's on a yearly basis. Couldn't really find that on, on um, Wikipedia. The sun is 93 million miles away. And the distance to the sun versus the moon is 390 times, but they always say it's 400 times further away than it is, than the moon is to the earth. So, now we look at what we know so far, what we have discovered. We know from the North Pole to the equator is 90 degrees. We know from the equator to 45 degree south is another 45 degrees. So if we add them up, we have a total of 135 degrees. 135 degrees times 60 nautical miles, because one degree is equal to 60 nautical miles, comes out to 8,100 nautical miles. So according to this, the sun at the equator is 8,100 nautical miles, or 9,321 statute miles, up in the sky. So. Now let's look at a little coincidence. The 8,100 miles, if you multiply that by the average moon length, comes out to 238,000 miles. If you take the 238,950 and multiply that by the 390 um, times distance, you also come up with 93 million miles. Interesting. Coincidence? I think not! Getting back to the triangle, here's one extra little tidbit. If you rotate the triangle and position the right corner to the North Pole as it states on the corner north, and the left corner is always pointing south, the sun now will point to the black line all the way around the map. And Basically, what it does is it tells us that the sun is coming from the east and that it's marking the hours of the earth as the sun rotates. Now, let me ask you something. What does this look like to you?